Do you ever wonder what might lie out there deep in space? Do you want to believe we're not alone, that somewhere in the universe, intelligent life may actually exist? Our next guest says there is life out there. It does exist. Dr Charles Halls says he spent two years working with extraterrestrial beings during his time with the American military. He claims the US military has actually been in contact with alien species for years. And Dr Charles Hall is here to explain, along with his wife Marie, live from what Bugs Bunny used to call Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now, thank you both for your time. <laughs> Terrific to have you with us. Firstly, Charles, can you tell us your story of how you managed to come into contact with these beings as you worked with the military? I'm a Vietnam veteran and I enlisted in the Air Force in July 1964 and I was trained as a weather observer and I was sent to Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, outside Las Vegas, Nevada. And I, for two and a half years I was sent up to the gunnery ranges up at Indian Springs and I was given a clearance to allow me to go anywhere anywhere in dreamland uh, as long as I was alone. I discovered that up there at the north end of Indian Springs Valley, which you can see on the map in the state of Nevada here in America, that there was a base which the U.S. Air Force maintained mm -hmm. for a group of extraterrestrials who were tall and white. And I, as the duty weather observer, was allowed to go up there or they were allowed to come down to where I was. And that the interaction took place over more than two years. Wow. During those two years, I also came across, I, I also interacted to a lesser extent with the Roswell Grays, and I've also personally talked with the extraterrestrials that I call the Norwegians with 24 teeth, who come here from a very nearby star, perhaps Bernard star. And um, my experiences, my presentations, my books are unique mm -hmm. because m m um, I'm the only person that I know that I know of that was allowed to interact with the extraterrestrials, the tall whites, for more than two years. So three different species of, of aliens you're talking about there, Charles. Yeah, can you describe what they look yes, like, what, what they were like? Well, I'll, I'll start with the tall whites. They're <coughs> thinner than we are and they're very frail. Throughout most of their life, they are the same height as I am, 5'11". But they, and they live 10 times longer than humans. They live 600 or 800 years. Wow. And, but they don't age the way we do. When they, when they get to be equivalent to a human of about 40 years, that means when they are about 400 years, they start growing again instead of aging as humans. Right. And then they go, and this continues, and so that by the time they get to be 600 or 800 years old, they're very tall, eight and a half, nine, or ten feet tall, but this is not necessarily good because their skeleton grows more than their internal organs. Ah. And so there comes a time after six or eight hundred years when their skeleton, their body is tall, but their organs can't support can't it, support the at organism. which time mm. they die a natural death because they're just flesh and blood creatures like we are. If they injure themselves, it takes them ten times longer to heal up than a human. Yeah. So there's a trade-off. Yeah, right. They still look fresh as a daisy when they go, though. They, they mm. look like Tilda Swinton. Mm. Hey, um, just yeah. quickly, mm. you, you, you had them there. You were working with the aliens um, for on, on any particular project, or was the military working with the aliens on a particular project? Was there, I don't know, technology <laughs> sharing or, you know, <laughs> botanical cross-fertilisation? The... Um, the U.S. Air Force, and I'm speaking of the mid-1960s, w was willing to give them anything they asked for. When I first met them, I was very afraid of them, and every human I met when you come across them out in the desert was naturally very afraid of them, and they were even more afraid of us. It's like running into a gorilla in the wild mm. where the gorilla is on his home ground. So mm. they had to go through a process of becoming used to being around humans before they could take part in the technology transfer program. I, as the weather observer, was the 
helped test human. I, as an enlisted man, I was expendable. You know, sure. I was yeah. the Mar one they send out to and say, the yeah. practice talking exactly. to Charlie. And Marie, let's bring you in. Mm -hmm. You've never yeah. seen these things for yourself. Are you a believer? Because probably a lot of people watching this this morning are going to think, I don't believe him. It's ridiculous. How could it be possible? Uh, well, Charles was very intelligent in that he waited until we'd been married a couple of months before he told me about <laughs> the extraterrestrials coming into his barracks at night. And uh, he said, well, what do you think? And I said, I really don't care. I have never given any thought as to whether they uh, exist or not, and I really don't care. I've known Charles, we, we've been married over 43 years. Uh, he may be a character, but I am his character reference. <laughs> and uh, I, I, totally <laughs> I totally believe uh, that this is real. Furthermore, we have had uh, confirmations from people all over the world. We have never had any serious uh, tire kickers. You yeah, know, people yeah. who say, well. Well, uh, certainly there seems to be a lot of people, it would seem to be a lot of people around the world who would support your view on this, who seem to have had their own experiences, but probably not quite as intimately as you. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to leave it there, Charles and Marie, because we're about to lose our satellite, but you're coming to Australia next week to give a series of, uh, of, of talks, and we, we can't can wait to see wait. it. Yeah. And all the details of your tour will That's be on our website, so uh, those interested in the life yeah. beyond there will no doubt be there. Thank you. Good one. Quite a couple. Well, yeah, quite a noise. Did you it. know? I mean, if you read through the the briefing notes on that, mm. some of those aliens left the military base mm -hmm. and they went to a show in Las Vegas.